I will outlast you, mortal. Wait. I, um... I need to drop a dragon in your palace, okay? Uh, I must have misheard you. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. We'll just have to keep fighting the dragons as best we can. How can we fight Alduin? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? And you're gonna sit back and just take it? I'm not asking you to kill him. It's my job. I don't know about such things. But I heard the Greybeard summon you. That's good enough for me. Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? It's the only way to find Alduin. I want to help you, Dragonborn. And I will. But I need your help first. Of course you do. Ulfric and General Tullius are both just waiting for me to make a wrong move. Do you think they will sit idle while the dragon is slaughtering my men and burning my city? No. I can't risk weakening the city while we are under the threat of enemy attack. I'm sorry. There won't be a war to fight if you let the dragons live. Then... I would be glad to help you with your mad dragon-trapping scheme, but getting both sides to agree to a truce will be difficult at this point. The bitterness has gone too deep. Maybe. Hmm. What of the Greybeards? They are respected by all Nords. High Hrothgar is neutral territory. If the Greybeards were willing to host a peace council, then maybe Ulfric and Tullius would have to listen. I'll talk to them, too, okay? Aye, Dragonborn. Maybe you can stop the dragons and this war into the bargain. Vendu Hinsil Ko Savangard. Alduin? We heard the dragon wren shout from here. You defeated him? Not exactly. I need to go to Sovngarde to uh, fight him again. I feared as much. I thought it was him we saw flying east after your battle. I'm about to catch a dragon, and I need your help to do that. We are not warriors. What is overlooked in the Dragonborn is not permitted to any other followers of the way of the voice. I'm not asking you to fight, only to stop the war, temporarily. You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeards have never involved themselves in political affairs. I know, but Jarl Balgriff refuses to help unless we get a truce. I see. The dragon will lead you to Alduin, but without the Jarl's help. Exactly. They'll listen to you. Parthenax has made the decision to help you. This is the road we have to walk. Even the Greybeards must bend to the winds of change, it seems. So be it. It's a miracle. Tell Ulfric and General Tullius that the Greybeards wish to speak to them. We will see if they still remember us. Those who try to hasten the end may delay it. Those who work to delay the end may bring it closer. Alduin, the world eater of song and legend. If that's true, well, it changes the situation, doesn't it? Even Tullius may be forced to talk sense in the face of such a threat. So you'll... You'll come to the Peace Council? Yes. I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. So we're ready to... That's not what Earth this is Earth. about. Ugh. I still say you should take them all out like you did dead King Torig. Listen to them. Torig was merely a message to the other Yars. I can't believe them. Whoever we replace them with will need the support of our armies. We can show you the way, but not your destination. The Greybeards? 
What do those old hermits want with me? Actually, they're convening a peace council. Why? There's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. You need to stop this fighting just long enough for me to catch a dragon. They are getting to be a problem. But I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight No dragons. one's asking you to. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that. Dragons or no dragons. Not even if Alduin swooped down from the sky over your head? Ah, oh, never mind. Listen. I have asked Ulfric to come, and he's agreed. Has he? Mm-hmm. I suppose he doesn't want to miss a chance to bluster about the Empire's many crimes. He's probably hoping I'll refuse so he can blame the Empire for being unreasonable. I think I'll have to disappoint him yet again. Yeah. So... Do we have a deal? Yes. Yes, fine. I'll come to this Greybeard Council. Dalakin! No himsilty. So, you've done it. The men of violence are gathered here, in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. I should not have agreed to host this council. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. You're so scared of breaking conventions. So, Arn Gear, is it? You know why we're here. Are you going to let us in or not? You are not invited here. You are not welcome here. We have as much right to be at this council as all of you. More, actually, since we were the ones that put the Dragonborn on this path. Were you? I don't want to get involved. Hubris of the Blades Come on, truly Gaia. knows no bounds. We all wait upon you, Dragonborn. Now that everyone is here, please take your seats so we can begin. This is gonna be interesting. I hope that we have all come no. here in the spirit you of- you insult us by bringing her to this negotiation? Your chief Talos Hunter? That didn't take long. Diplomat. Here, here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial Delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. By Izmir's beard, the nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? To think that I would sit down at the same table with that. Thou more bitch. Either she walks or I do. She can't do you any harm. And besides, she's not going to stop you from speaking your mind, is she? But she is to observe. Nothing more. We are not negotiating with her. Is that clear? Now that that's settled, may we proceed? General Tullius, this council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar, and do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? We want control of Markar. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, oh, this is outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. I know you, Ulfric. If I hand over Markarth, you'll be ready with a new demand. <clears throat> you'll never defeat the Empire, and you know it. But you're willing to sacrifice thousands for your own selfish ambition. Soon enough, I'll have you back under the headsman's axe, and this time there won't be any dragon to save you. As always, the Empire's fine words are worth nothing. You're fighting like children over who gets to sit where in the sandbox. 
Don't you know there won't be anyone left to play in that? Now, back to the matter at hand. Thank we you. We want compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. You slaughtered the very people you claim to be fighting for. True sons of Skyrim would never do such things. Damned Imperial lies. They're not listening. My men would never stoop to such methods, even in retaliation this for your butchery at... All the blood spilled in this war is on your head. You've been even-handed so far. What do you say to our demand? Have your gold, I don't care. For once you'll actually pay for your crimes. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. It seems we may have an agreement. You both agree to this? I shouldn't agree to terms that so blatantly favor the Empire. I have no choice, though. Under the circumstances. The Empire can live with these terms, yes. For a temporary truce. Until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. I swear, on, I'll we never pick a side in this war. Giving up Markarth is a heavy price for this truce, Dragonborn. I hope it was worth it. Dovahkiin in Kafen Kostbona. We're ready, Dragonborn. Just say the word. As I promised, my men stand ready. The great chains are oiled. We wait on your word. Let's do this. I guess... I think I'm ready. I mean... Ready as I'll ever be. My men know what to do. Make sure you do your part. I'm putting my city in your hands. Catch the dragon. You do have a plan for luring a dragon here, yeah? Mm-hmm. The trick is to get him in here. Stand ready. I'm calling him. Where what? A thing! Anyone hear anything? Hear that? You're mine. Here he comes. Steady. Steady now. Okay, guys. You fight him for a while, make him real mad. People, get over here. I see you. Here I am. You wanna fight me? Come on in. No, Raya. Don't go out there. We want him in, in here. Tell your people to back off, y'all. I claim the glory of your defeat, Dovahkiin. Good. Come over here and claim it. I'm here. What are you waiting for? For mine. Idiot. Call back. Purpose, 
You want to fight me? Come on. I'm here. It actually worked. Need. Mm -hmm. Need indeed. Avuta made Kodav. Caught like a bear in a trap. Zokfrini grin kogra drun viki dovakin. Ah, I forget. You do not have the Dova speech. Doesn't mean I don't understand you. My eagerness to meet you in battle was my undoing, Dovakin. I salute your mm, low cunning in devising such a Gramin Dol stratagem. Zubonar. You went to a great deal of trouble to put me in this humiliating position. You have no idea. Sir Alduin, hmm? no doubt you want to know where to find Alduin. No. I just need to know how to get there. Renikvaza, an apt phrase. Alduin Boval. One reason I came to your call was to test your thorn for myself. Many of us have begun to question Alduin's lordship, whether his thorn was truly the strongest. Among ourselves, of course, Muni Maie, none were yet ready to openly defy him. As interesting as this conversation is, you were about to tell me... How to get to him? Once Lord Croesus, innumerable pardons, I digress. He has traveled to Sovngarde to regain his strength. I know that. Devouring the Silesure, the souls of the mortal dead, a privilege he jealously guards. His door to Sovngarde is at Skaldafen. Skaldafen. One of his ancient fanes high in the eastern mountains. Minduran pa ok midove navarantil. I surely do not need to warn you that all his remaining strength is marshaled there. No, you don't. The ulost ofan hinlan. Now that I have answered your question, you will allow me to go free? Only if you won't fight me, and maybe even come when I call. Um? Serve you? No. Need aid. If and when you defeat Alduin, I will reconsider. Hmm, Croesus. There is one detail about Skaldafen I neglected to mention. <laughs> of course. What? Only this. You have the Thurm of a Dova, but without the wings of one, you will never set foot in Skaldafen. But I have the wings. Of course. I could fly you there. Exactly. But not while imprisoned like this. I guess I'll take my chances then. Onikan Korav Gain Mirad. It is wise to recognize when you only have one choice. And you can trust me. Zuni Tarudis. Alduin has proven himself unworthy to rule. I go my own way now. Free me, and I will carry you to Skaldafin. All right, I'll do that. Incredible. Excuse me? Uh, sir, you have no oh, idea no. how long I have waited for such an opportunity. I would be most appreciative if you would permit me to perform some, uh, hey. tests on... Hey, now is not the time. ...in the interests of the advancement of knowledge. Be gone, mage. Do not test my promise to the Dovahkiin. I assure you, you will not even notice me. 
Most of them are hardly painful at all to a large dragon such as yourself. I talk to dragons on a weekly basis, and he's not listening. Surely you wouldn't miss a few scales or a small amount of blood. Uh oh. <laughs> I guess that's a no. He listens to dragons, at least. Was no. I'm coming. Raya, don't wait up for me, okay? Saran Uth, I await your command as promised. Are you ready to see the world as only a Dova can? Yes. Let's go. Zuk Brit of I warn you, once you've flown the skies of Kaisal, your envy of the Dove will only increase. Amativ. See you soon, sweetheart. That was amazing. This is as far as I can take you. Griffoth Akrin. I will look for your return. Or Alduin's. Oh, someone's guarding the portal. I'm not gonna ask. Just need your staff, okay? I suspect the magic in it will let me open this portal again. I've done worse, right? I'm finally here. Or before my time, perhaps. The old heroes, they'll fight with me. Your trial what? Your world. Ending up in Sovngarde does nothing to stop the flapping of gums. Your word to loose their fury upon the perilous foe. Seek food or song on ending? Fighting, drinking, fellowship and boasting? Find welcome here. I thought for sure. When you came to Sovngarde, you'd at least know when to shut up. Apparently, I was wrong. Are they even hungry? Or are they just eating because they're bored? 
Shore's power protects this hall. At long but last, beyond his fear, Alduin's brought by all of is now ours to seal. Just speak the word, and with high hearts, we'll hasten forth to smite the worm wherever he lurks. Word. To battle, my friends! The field will echo with the clamor Today of war, our wills undaunted. I guess they've been waiting for an opportunity to fight him. Why haven't they, by the way? It's not like they can die here, right? Um, oh, okay, maybe their soul could be devoured. How, how does that happen in this place? I don't understand. It's not like I want to find the out or anything. Upon you this day. Defeat Alduin, destroy the soul Let's focus on the important thing. Look! Ah! You cannot fight the foe in this mist. Clear skies! Combine our shouts! Okay, I just shouted though, so give me a break, will ya? Look! Look! Whoa! Thanks for not giving me a warning. It's not here. Again! He created more mist, okay. the bastard. How about now? You want to fight me? Come on! I'm here! I'm here. What are you waiting for?
Where am I? Where? I want to be a warrior, the strongest one ever. You never got a chance. My bane, they filled you with hateful magic. Hey, you want to play a game? I would love to. Let's play... Say my name. Don't be silly. You'll never be too old. That's right. I am Saga. Hey, you want to play a game? No peeking. Ready? Ready? Okay, go! Ready, go.